Hello everyone! Today I'm gonna go over the seed generation under three achievement, which is required in order to get the bow, or the super bow achievement, which I will also show. Heads up, you're going to need a couple of bombs on hand and 525 baubles. And at the very beginning of this zone, there is a potion cart. Purchase the Choya seeds here for 500 baubles to get our first objective. Starting at the beginning of the zone, next we need to get a key. We need to purchase a key from a shop, which we will then use to unlock a chest. The chest, of course, has our Choya seed. The key costs 25 baubles, and this is the same shop you will come back to to purchase the Choya language guide, which is needed to get the bow. The language guide costs three Choya seeds, and so far we've only collected one, so we'll need to come back for this. Once you have the key, we're now heading towards the secret cave. You can safely drop the key to use your bomb to blow open the cave. You can even go inside the cave, which I did accidentally, leaving the key outside, go back and it will still be there. Though I wouldn't test how far you can push this. Use the second button on your key bar to unlock the chest and interact with your Choya seat to pick it up. And lastly, heading from the campfire, I believe this is the third campfire if you count the one in the starting area. Either or, head towards the bridge, but we're going to hang around this corner and use a bomb to open up this cave. Kill all oozes in the cave and the chest will spawn, and a no key is required. Now you have enough Choya seeds to return back to the shop to get your Choya language guide. In case you forgot where that is, start at the beginning of the zone and take the underwater path to get there. I'm not sure if there's a quicker way than just running back, but if you're fine with losing all your checkpoints, you can just go to your character select screen and load back in the world. You're now at the beginning of the zone, right where the underwater path is. Keep in mind though, the bow is at the end of the zone, so you'll have to choose if you're willing to lose your checkpoints. Thank you. 
Now to get our bow, which is thankfully free. At the very, very end of the zone, right before the boss, there is a shop. Go inside and get your bow. The shopkeeper gives it to you for free. And that is it. That is everything. Thank you so much for tuning in. And I don't know, maybe see you around. To my Guild Wars 2 friends, if you are looking for merch, you can get 20% off using my link in the description below. This should automatically apply a code Tiffy to your checkout. I myself am slowly building up my collection and so far I have the vintage wash hoodie. I adore the design on the bag. And I am now making some morning mochas in the mug. Next up, of course, will be the collector's edition because I want the statue.